as the NFL season wraps up here, we're wrapping up all the way in week 18. And as a better, it gives us some really interesting situations. We see some teams, they're getting ready for playoffs, so already locked maybe. Some teams are vying, and some teams are giving a, a farewell to their fans. Hey, we'll see, we'll see you next time. Um, but betting week 18 is kind of a different approach. Completely different animal. And the league has adjusted a little bit, right? They they flex the entire week until after the week 17 games. So the ones that have such huge playoff implications for both teams, those are in more of the, the visible TV spots. But just in general, be very careful betting on a team just because they have something to play for and the other team does not. Okay. Odds makers are aware of the playoff scenarios as well. And that's baked into the line. Now, you may think that it's baked in, but not enough. And then just like we always think, like other narratives are obviously odds makers are aware. But another thing that's really important is these teams are on the bubble. We talk about the bubble with March Madness a bunch. They're on the bubble for a reason. It's because they were unable to win key games earlier in the season. They are fringe playoff teams for a reason. So why would we assume that the stakes are higher? They all of a sudden play better. You could argue when there are no stakes for the other team, they're going to play looser and better. And this is not the NBA where tanking is a thing. The NFL, and actually I've argued on sports radio over the years that I think there should be more tanking. Like the Colts almost blew their chance at Andrew Luck. They were like beating the Jaguars in week week 17 at the time. And I was like, what are you doing? Um, so these teams go out because the players obviously don't tank ever. They go all out. It's a short shelf life league. Coaches don't mess around. They all try to win. So teams that have, for example, the Cowboys too, they're huge road favorites. They're laying the same number in Washington that San Francisco was laying last week. Are they the same power rating? Of course not. But because of the need to win and you get the division jurors, you get the two seed, it's win and in. It's not cover and in. Right. So <laughs> so covering 13, you're paying a tax to back Dallas. Now, I lean Dallas a little bit in this game, but it has, I mean, it obviously has the incentive as part of it. But another thing is Washington's dead man walking and Rivera, whatever. But don't think, don't just blindly say, well, this team has something to play for, this team doesn't. Like, it's baked in the line, like, really scrutinized. But to your point, it is a completely different animal than the every other week. You just have to approach it in a different way and understand the nuances are so different than maybe, like, week six. Got it. One other thing that's really interesting with week 18, and there'll be some uh, writers who cover the NFL that will post something, whether it be Twitter or something, a lot of contract incentives are out there. So if someone has to reach a thousand yards or someone like that, and then you can find some player props that overlap and match up, or maybe awards or awards betting, like who in the yeah, Nakua, um, they're going to want, maybe want to feed him in a game that's otherwise meaningless. So maybe his, and again, they're not like cheating or fixed games, but they might have it's like, just like the NBA a couple of weeks ago when Giannis had a chance for 60 at the end of the game, they're feeding. When Embiid missed the free throw to go 50, they he, the ball found him and he shot it. So things like this happen. When when Clay went off against the Kings a decade ago or whatever it was, they're feeding him in that third quarter. Steph, when he's trying to make a break a record. So these things happen in all sports, but it's a way to do your homework ahead of time. Again, the market will adjust. You're not the first person doing it, but there's a way to sort of, you know, find an angle and an edge. But that's certainly part of it. Contract incentives. I like it. Week 18 betting. But like Doug said, do your homework. Do your homework. You'll figure it out. Week 18 betting. That's the betting buzz.